The Betty Club really started in my head as just a really fun club on campus. That year I was on ASB and I really saw the inner workings of the school and how things functioned, what administrators thought about clubs and you know how they reacted to things. And there were a lot of administrators on campus that had the kind of like their own personal clubs that they were passionate about. And I saw that having someone who's actually passionate about what they're doing really helps drive things along. And so in my head, I just wanted to just have fun. Just say, you know what, school is always going to be there. You're always going to have math. You're always going to have English. And hey, not everyone likes those two subjects. But if you have something bearable, you know, to make it life bearable, like music. In our case, we were all musicians. Um, music, it could have been the worst day at school. But knowing that we had music made it so much fun. Because we knew that at least for an hour a day, we were just going to relax and have fun. And I said, you know what, what's better than two hours of fun? <laughs> and so I said, let's have like a buddy club where we're just an organization where it's all about fun and my idea actually at the beginning was just to have like a like a rec room during lunch because I knew a lot of kids would go into you know teachers classrooms and play cards or eat lunch and I said you know what why don't we get those kids out of there and just get them all to socialize together because you know there's the kids who like video games and play in one classroom and you know the kids who like philosophy in another one and I said if we just had a rec room and you know we had maybe like a few pool tables a ping pong table or foosball table you know and maybe like a big screen or something I think you can get everyone together and maybe our campus would be more close-knit and you know I was an ASP so I was thinking along those lines how can we rate school unity and I realized at the end of the day um, we could do that and I said who are you going to start with because it's kind of hard once you have a set pattern to get people involved and I said well hey we have a bunch of new sixth graders coming in let's start the trend there and that's where Buddy Club started I said let's take the new sixth graders and let's let's give them a welcome night let's indoctrinate them and let's let them know that we're here, we're here to have fun, but we're also here to learn. And that's how the, buddy, how the Buddy Club started. And it started as one orientation night. We had six different stations, and it was kind of like a, a race. If you can get all the stickers from all the different stations first and check in, you, you won. Kind of like the amazing race kind of thing. And, you know, while we were having fun in the quad, we had the whole school. We, from everywhere from the field to the to cafeteria, everything. And meanwhile, that was going on outside. The parents were inside the auditorium uh, being, you know, informed about their kids' education and what's, what's to come. And what I realized that was so great for me was that um, the kids really felt at peace with the school. You know, they weren't going to be intimidated. Because I remember the first day I showed up at Marshall, um, got dropped off with my friend, and we are just like, what? They were like, report to your first period class before you get a tardy sweep. And I was like, I don't even know where it is. And so when the kids came in, we showed them all the buildings. And so I think at the end of the day, everyone felt more relaxed. They go, okay, this is my new school. There's some cool people here. We met, people made friends. And that was the start of orientation night and really the, the foundation of Buddy Club.